effect of change in both demand and supply curves equal increase in demand and supply due to increase in demand demand curve shift to the right price increases and quantity increases due to increase in supply supply curve shift to the right pricing price decreases and quantity increases new equilibrium is at e1 in this case increase in price is equal to the decrease in price so there is no change in price only quantity increases equal decrease in supply and quantity due to decrease in demand demand curve shift to the left price decreases and quantity decreases due to decrease in supply supply curve shift to the left price increases and quantity decreases new equilibrium is determined at e1 in this case increase in price is equal to the decrease in price so there is no change in price only quantity decreases increase in demand is equal to the decrease in supply due to the increase in demand demand curve shift to the right price increases quantity increases due to the decrease in supply supply curve shift to the left price increases and quantity decreases new equilibrium is determined at e1 in this case quantity increase is equal to the quantity decrease so there is no change in quantity price increases from op to op1 demand rises more proportionally than the supply due to the rise in demand demand curve shift to the right price increases and quantity increases due to the rise in supply supply curve shift to the right price increases and quantity increases new equilibrium prices op dash new equilibrium quantity is oq dash in this case demand rises more proportionally than supply so effect of increase in price is greater than effect of decrease in price so finally price increases quantity increases from q to q dash supply decreases more proportionally than the demand due to the decrease in demand demand curve shift to the left price decreases and quantity decreases due to decrease in supply supply curve shift to the left price increases and quantity decreases new equilibrium price is p2 and new equilibrium quantity is q2 in this case supply decreases more proportionally than the demand so increase in price is greater than decrease in price so finally price increases quantity decreases from q1 to q2